Hi everyone, thanks so much for watching. In today's video, I am gonna do the final video in my declutter series that I have been doing. These are all the products, oh, of course. <laughs> These are all the products that I'm left to go through. So I've got some brow products here. This is the little organization bin where I keep like my single shadows, my cream shadows you know, eyeliners, stuff like that in there. We'll go through that. And then these are the eyeshadow palettes that I currently have in my collection. And then over here, I have the products that are in my Shop My Stash and a couple of uh, products that in my recent Shop My Stash video, I did already declutter, but I just thought I would put those there so you could see. So this is what we're left with. This is my sort of declutter finale. I've already done lip products. I did base products. You guys, Albie's here and she has lots of sneezes. So, Albie. So, I'm so sorry. If you hear dogs snarfling when I'm down on the ground, she's just right here. <laughs> she's old and so she makes lots of weird noises. So, disregard. Um, yeah, so I've already done uh, face products where I did primers, foundations, concealers, that sort of thing. And then I did another video more recently where I did blush, bronzer, highlight. So, this is what I'm left with. So let's get into it. I've got a lot of eyebrow products specifically that I know I wanna get rid of. Probably those palettes will all stay because I don't have a ton of eyeshadow palettes, really. I did a big declutter last year on those. And then, yeah, I need to go through this basket here, but it's not a ton of stuff, so I'm hoping this doesn't take us very long, but let's get into it. Okay, let's go through these brow products first. You can see kind of everything there, but let's go through this because I definitely have some things in here that are old. So right off the bat, I have this from Benefit. It's the Cabrow. I don't even think they make this anymore. This was a mini of this product. Let's see if I can, yeah. And so in the one part, there's this little brush and then the pomade was down in that little pot there. I loved this product, and I don't know if you'll be able to see, but I've actually used a good amount of it up. It's just time to throw it out. I've had it for so long, so I'm gonna get rid of that, throw that out. I have this product from St. Lux. I got this in a BoxyCharm box, and it's just a clear brow gel, but I, I don't like this brow gel at all, and I have other clear brow gels in my collection that I prefer, so I'm just gonna get rid of that as well. I might see, I think I've used this like less than three times, so I might see if somebody wants that. So we'll put that in a separate pile here as a possible giveaway. This also I've had a while from Benefit. It's, I think, just a, like, deluxe sample size. It's the 24 hour brow setter. It's a clear brow gel. I'm gonna throw that out because I've had it a long time. I do really enjoy this product, but I have this one from ABH and this is my favorite clear brow gel. And I have this one and actually also have a backup of this product. So we'll get to that one in a minute, but that's the one that I will keep. So throwing that out. Oh, you know what? I have this one from e.l.f. It's got the spoolie on one end. Does it say instant lift brow pencil? It's this thick pencil. Let's see here. It's just okay. I don't love this shade. I prefer more of a warm brown and I prefer a micro pencil. So I'm gonna throw that out again. It's very old. These are good though. Like if you like this sort of thickness of brow pencil, um, I wanna say these are like $2 from e.l.f. It's a really good product, just not a favorite for me. So we will throw that out. What else? Oh, I've got two of these. So this is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit. This is a little mini one, and then this is what it looks like full size. So the full size one has the spoolie on one end, and then, you know, they have the large, thick pencil on the other. These are old, you guys. They just need to go. Like, they're, look how dried out they are. And they're both like that. So I'm just gonna throw those out. Again, it's a good product, a really good product. If you like a thicker brow pencil, I mean, I think almost any brow product from Benefit is, is good, but I'm gonna throw those out. They're pretty old. Um, what else have we got in here? I've got a bunch of brushes, actually, so I will keep all of the brushes. Oh, I'm gonna get rid of this. This is from Lorac. I picked this up in a BoxyCharm uh, sale, actually. 
and I was excited to try it but it's just not a product that works for me. It's quite a dry pencil. And again, it's that thicker pencil style. So I'm gonna get rid of that. I might see if somebody wants that actually, cause it's pretty new. What else? Let's see if there's anything. I wanna see if this is still got some product in it. Oh yeah, it does. It seems fine. So I'm gonna keep that. Again, this is my favorite clear brow gel from ABH and I have this one and I have a backup of it as well. So definitely gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep this e.l.f. Wow Brow. I love this. This is probably my, this is the product that I reach for the most, I would say. Like I absolutely love this brow gel. And it's that, you know, it will set my brows where I want them, hold them there. It has a bit of tint and it has fibers in it, so it builds the brow hair up. And again, I think these are like $4 maybe. If you haven't tried this product and you like that type of product, this is really nice. One of my favorites for sure, so keeping that. I have also from e.l.f. one of the micro pencils, but I feel like this is pretty old. Ooh, that is hard and dried out for sure. Yeah, that feels really rough. So I'm just gonna throw that out. I've had it a long time. Again, a really good product. I just, I didn't get to it. Um, I have this one from Billion Dollar Brows. Uh, brows on point, spoolie on one end. This is a really nice micro pencil. I have had many of these and it's the one that I probably, if I want a micro pencil, this is the one I reach for the most. How much is left in there? Oh, still quite a good amount. Yeah, I'm definitely keeping that. It's one that I reach for all the time. I really enjoy that product. What else have we got in here? This one from CoverGirl can probably go in the garbage. It's, I, I just don't reach for it. I feel like it's quite a stiff formula. Like it's just hard to get it to go through my brows. So it's it's fine. Like I, you know, I've, I've tried to pan it. I've had it a long time, but I'm just gonna get rid of it because I, again, I just don't reach for it. Uh, that's a liner, a liner. Oh, I have this one from Merit. This is really nice. This, this is probably one of my favorite um, products that Merit sent me actually. It's a really nice tinted brow gel. And I do, I reach for this product all the time. I have had it a while, probably six months, but it still seems fine. And again, I do use it all the time. Oh, I'm gonna get rid of this. So this from NYX is the Fill and Fluff. And on one end, there's this little brush that I don't use. It just doesn't work for me. My brows are too thick. And then here we've got just a thick, brow pencil. That's the shade I like. I like this kind of, you know, warm brown shade, but I don't reach for this because it's that large, you know, kind of chunky brow pencil. So I'm going to get rid of that, but I am going to keep this Lift and Snatch from, from NYX. So this is probably the brow combo that I do the most. I go in first and create hair light strokes with the NYX and then I follow that up with the e.l.f. Wow Brow. I love this product. Again, it's just this effortless, like look at that. Oh, I love it. It's like an eyeliner pen but for your brows and it works so well. I love it. I use it absolutely all the time. Um, I have this one from Hourglass and it's the Arch Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil. It's got a spoolie on one end and then it's got the pencil on the other. It's just okay. Like definitely not worth the money, but I'm gonna keep it. It, cause again, I mean, it works fine. It's a micro pencil. I haven't had it that long, so I will keep that one. Definitely not worth the money. I feel like mascara and brow products are, you know, something that they do at the drugstore really, really well. So I, I bought it in a boxy pop-up sale and I mean, it's very fancy, look at it, like it's gorgeous, but I'll keep it, but I wouldn't repurchase it. I got this one from Item Beauty. I think I got this in a BoxyCharm box and I forgot I had it. And I just, I don't know that I've even really used it. So it's not the type of pencil I like. Again, it's chunky but I'm gonna keep it because I, I don't know my thoughts on it. I don't think I've really used it, to be honest. It feels pretty rough and hard and chunky, and I don't think I'm gonna like it, but because I have it, and I'm not sure if I've used it or not, I'm gonna keep it. This is one of my all-time favorite brow products, actually. It's the Busy Gal Brows from Tarte, and it has this really nice little mini wand, and it's a tinted brow gel. 
I have had this a long time, but I'm gonna keep it because I still reach for it like all the time. This very much reminds me of the Merit one. They're a very similar product, but if you haven't tried this and you want an easy to use tinted brow gel, this is a really, really nice product. And then I think finally for brow products, I have this one from Marc Jacobs. And on the one end, it has a tinted brow gel. And then on the other end, it has a pencil. And it's kind of, it's not a micro pencil, but it's also not overly chunky. And it's quite nice and emollient. Like it feels very smooth running it through my brows. So I have this, plus I have like three pencil refills. So I do reach for this all the time, to be honest. It's a product that I do consistently use. And I travel with it quite often. So it's nice. I'm not even sure you can still get this, but I do enjoy it and I have, like refills for life. So definitely keeping. Okay, and then for, I think these are all liner products. Um, this is new to me. This is from iMethod Beauty. And these are the winged liner stamps. One's for the left and one's for the right. I did recently use these in a video and they're really nice. And actually I ordered um, their brow stamping kit online on Amazon. So I'm excited to try that. I've got that coming. I'm definitely keeping these and yeah, I've been really excited to use them. And then I have this one from Benefit. It's the roller liner eyeliner. It's in brown. And I think I was initially gonna declutter this a while ago, but then I decided to keep it because I can't pass it on. It's an eyeliner that I have used. So I think I just put it back in here because I didn't want to throw it out. And actually I've used it a couple of times. So I think for now, I will definitely keep that. I have this one from Annabelle and it's one of their coal liners. It's very, very pretty. I really like this and I do reach for it every once in a while. So I'm definitely keeping that. Il Maquillage sent me this as my free gift. Um, yeah, it's a very, very intense black liner. I'm gonna keep it, it's new to me, but you know, I'm not sure I will use it a ton. What's this one? This is from Clinique, it's the quick liner for eyes intense. I think this was like a gift with purchase. And again, it's a really nice, thick, super smudgy liner, so I'm gonna keep it. And then this one from Marc Jacobs, I actually use, this This is the one I use the most to tight line, my upper water line. I don't know, what is this called? Does it say? Highliner, matte gel liner. I do use this one quite a bit. It's really, really nice. Keeping that. And then I have this one, is the Epic Smoke Liner. This is pretty new to me from NYX. So you've got the little brush again on one side so you can smudge it out and that's the liner there. And I haven't used it as much as I should because you guys know I struggle to use liner. So I'm keeping all of those. Okay, and then I know I'm getting rid of these. These were in, oh, when I did my Shop My Stash, I pulled these out. I have this mascara from Merit. So I'm just gonna get rid of it. It's quite old, like it's at least six months old, but it's really pretty. If you want a natural mascara look, it's a beautiful mascara, really nice. But I'm gonna throw it out as I've had it a long time. And this Luna Magic one as well, I'm gonna throw out, it's a primer. And it's just getting kind of goopy and old and yeah, I don't reach for it. So let's pull all of these things in here. Let's go through this stuff next. Okay, so this bottom basket of mine is a bit of a catch-all, to be honest, but I know I'm gonna keep this Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel, that's my backup. I am gonna keep this little Baddington Lashes because I don't, I don't wear false lashes and I don't really have any, but I will keep those because I think I got them in a BoxyCharm or something and no point in getting rid of them since I don't, that's the only pair I have. And then these are the refills I have for that Marc Jacobs um, eyebrow pencil. Well, this has come out of its little holder. You know, do I need three refills? Well, certainly not, but I have them. <laughs> so, <laughs> like I said, I've got refills for life because I think this is a two pack. Yeah, it is. I've got three refills on that product I've had a year and I haven't even gone through the first one. But however, we will keep those. Um, I have this No Budge Shadow Stick from e.l.f. It's a really pretty color. You know, again, I've got 
I only have two eyes and <laughs> I don't wear a ton of shadow, so I don't get to it all the time, but I'm gonna keep it. I know already I'm gonna keep both of these. These are from Revlon. They're the Color Stay Cream Shadows. You know, they're beautiful. I don't know, I've had people say they're a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize. They're similar, but also there's differences. Like I think on the lids they may look very similar, but there is something a little special about the Eyes to Mesmerize. So I do really like these ones from Revlon, but for me, they're not gonna replace the Charlotte Tilbury ones completely, but I'm very happy to have them. And I do like them and I do wear them, so I'm keeping those. And then I have, I actually have three of the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize. So these are both in champagne. And this is the one that I originally had and then a girlfriend just gave me this one. But you can see in the one I've had a few months, look how much of that I've used. Like I, I absolutely love these Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize. I think they're very much much worth the money and love those so keeping those um, I have this little KVD medium brown defining powder and it's actually really nice um, the last couple times I've used it I've got quite a bit of fallout from it so maybe it's kind of getting old and dried out I'm not sure but I'll keep it for now and you know try to get some use out of it oh my goodness you guys this single shadow from Bobbi Brown what is this called Sparkle Eyeshadow in Silver Moon. This is probably the oldest makeup product I own. <laughs> Look at this thing. This is at least 10 years old, like no joke. I've had this forever. Oh, I kind of want to keep it. It reminds me of the Makeup by Mario highlighter that I use as a topper that I love, love, love. I wore this for a lot of years as a topper. All right, I'll throw it out. Look at it. It's so gross. Okay, I'll, I'll part with it. We'll throw it out. This is um, just a backup of the Bite Upswing Mascara. These were 50% off, so I bought two, so I'm keeping that. What else? What else? Oh, you know what? This, I don't know who makes this lipstick. I got this lipstick in a boxy charm, and the reason it sits in this drawer is because it doesn't fit in my lipstick holder. This is so gorgeous, but I pulled it out and I smelt it the other day. And yeah, it's gone bad, but look at that color. I kept it because it was so gorgeous, but yeah, you guys, it reeks. Like it absolutely reeks. So I'll throw that out. What else? This is just a sharpener that I got in a boxy charm box. So we'll keep that. This House Labs product I received in a boxy charm box and I didn't like it. When I used it, I felt like it set immediately. Like there was no working time with this product. But I've had a, I had somebody comment that they absolutely loved the product. So I, I'm going to keep it and, tr you know, try to be mindful to try it again because maybe, you know, maybe I just didn't use it right or, yeah, I felt like it wasn't good. It wasn't a good product for me, but I'm going to keep it and try it again. I did recently just get this from Shop Masse and it's a brow soap. Uh, and you know what? It worked fine. Not my favorite, you know, kind of brow soap. Product. I like this wax, this sculpting wax, better from Patrick Ta, but you know, they're a very similar product, but I will keep them both. What else? Oh, this is a brow pomade from ABH. Really like that product. Can keep it. A single shadow from Wet n Wild in Brulee. I used to use this daily to set my concealer on my upper lid. Not so much anymore because I'm going in with lots of cream shadows, but I am going to keep it. Um, I'm going to pass on this Danessa Myrick's product. I got this in my lucky bag and I, just, I feel like it's, oh, I can't get any out. Oh shoot, I think it's clogged. I'll have to take a toothpick or something to it. It's just, it's not a product I'm ever going to use, so I will pass that on. What else have we got here? Oh, I have this single cream shadow from e.l.f. I wonder if it's still good. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, it seems fine. A little dried out maybe, but we will keep it. This from ColourPop I've had forever. It's one of the Super Shock shadows in Sailor. It's so pretty. It feels fine, so I'm going to keep it. It's, maybe it's dried out a little, but I'll keep it. It's pretty. Let's see if I can get a little more use out of it. This is new to me from Kosas. It's one of their, I think they call this like the 10 second eye or something. It's pretty. I used it. It was a really nice base. I keep it. Again, pretty new to me. 
does dry down in about 10 seconds. I'm gonna get rid of this. This is from Aesthetica. It's a liquid liner. I'm just, I have, you know, more than I'm ever gonna use. And it's got this really hard, stiff painter type brush on it. So I'm, I'm never gonna use that. So I'll throw that out. I just got this actually in a BoxyCharm box. It's a liquid shadow. Have not had a chance to use that yet. So we will keep it. What is this? Oh, it's a eye primer from Viseart. I'll keep it, but, oh man. <laughs> oh, actually, that feels very silicone-y. I don't know if you guys can see that texture, but I don't think I'm gonna like that at all. Seamless eye primer. Oh, I'm just gonna throw it out. I'm never gonna use it. This is a liquid glitter shadow from e.l.f. It's very pretty. I'll keep it, it seems fine. I think this is dried out from ColourPop. It's one of the Jelly Much shadows. And when I got it, it was a jelly, but it's completely hard. <laughs> like it's, <laughs> I don't even think I used it once. Oh well, what can you do? You know, I got this in a um, ColourPop mystery box and it's just, yeah, I just, I didn't get to it and it's completely dried out. So throw that out, I guess. Okay, we're left with, oh, I have a little mini of the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'll keep it, I you know, don't use them a ton, but got this liner, cream gel liner from ColourPop in this beautiful color. I'll keep it because it's pretty new to me and it seems fine. I don't know that I will really use it. Um, I think I can get rid of this. I've had it a long time. Not even sure who it's by, to be honest. And I mean, how many of these do I need? Do you know what I mean? Like I don't wear a ton of shadow or a ton of liner, so that I've kept one or two is probably good. I'll throw that out. This is from Nude Sticks. I, again, have had this just a lifetime. It feels fine, to be honest, so we'll keep it. Um, I have this one from Jaunta Blue. I'm gonna get rid of it. Can you see though, it's like a black liner with glitter in it? But honestly, like I, I don't even think I've ever used it. So that one can go. This one's pretty new to me from Tristique. Oh, that doesn't, it feels pretty dried out. It's a smudge pencil. Let's see if we roll it back up, what that's like. Yeah, you know, it feels fine, but I'm just gonna get rid of it. Again, I, you can only, you know, I only need maybe one or two. And then this one as well. Does that have glitter in it as well? Or it's just a gray liner? Just gonna get rid of that one. And then I'll keep this one cause it's a white one. And sometimes, you know. That might be good to have. Yeah, I'll keep that one. Nothing wrong with that one. Okay, so we're doing pretty good. I'll just quickly go through these products because I did already talk about them. These are all the products that are in my current Shop My Stash. So my Bite Upswing Mascara, it's my favorite mascara. It's in there. And then I have the Maybelline Sky High. I have a primer. I have this one from Blink. It's a tubing mascara. And then I have this one from ColourPop. So those are all my open mascaras right now that I try to cycle through and use, but for sure, you guys know. The Bite is my favorite. So those are all gonna go back in my shop, my stash. I have this primer base from Ace Beauté that I'm enjoying. My goal is to use this at least one time in the next month. <laughs> this is the caviar stick from Laura Mercier. I, yeah, I've had it in my shop, my stash a couple months, you guys. I haven't used it yet, but my goal is to use it. This is a brow product that I have in there from e.l.f. You've got two kind of pomade waxes and two shadows. It's really nice. I like these. They come in a bunch of different versions. I think this is the dark brown. Yeah, so I'm enjoying that. I have a KVD Dazzle stick. Oh man, this is so pretty. Let me see if I can, where can I show you here? It's just gorgeous. I really enjoy this product. So that's in there to use. The Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in Oyster Pearl is my favorite eye product just across the board right now. I put this on daily. I absolutely love it. And then this is the Natasha Denona Ayana palette that I have in there just for this current shop my stash to try to get some use out of. So those are all staying. And then, like I said, I think for shadow palettes, like eyeshadow palettes, I don't actually have a ton, right? So I don't know that there's any I really need to get rid of. You know, am I ever gonna use this? Probably not, but 
I'll keep it for now. That's a ColourPop one. This is another ColourPop one. I'm more likely to use this one, so. And then this one from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Celestial Pearl Luxury Palette of Pearls. This is one of my favorites that I own, actually, so definitely keeping that one. Let's see, this one from Cab Cosmetics. I feel like just because I don't have a ton of palettes, it's fine to keep. There are shades in there I probably would use. Got this one from Fenty. Again, like, yeah, I don't reach for it, but there are a few shades in there that I might use. And of course, I've got quite a few from Natasha Denona that I've got in either subscription boxes or Lucky Bags. So I got this one, I think in this last Lucky Bag. This is the Retro Palette. And then I think I got the Love Palette maybe last year. Again, a lot of shades I'm not gonna use. You guys know I do like crazy basic eye looks, but <laughs> I'm keeping them. And then I have this one as well. This is the Peak one. Yeah, I got that in a boxy charm. I have this one from Ciate London that I had in my most recent Shop My Stash, the one that was for April, and I didn't reach for it even once. So, but again, I don't I don't own a ton, so I'm going to keep it. And this one is from Miss Fame Beauty. Yeah, do I need that? No. <laughs> I'm keeping it. It's so pretty. I just like to look at it. Two little ones from e.l.f. This one I really like. I think this is the Cookies and Cream. This one, not as much, but you know, I, I don't, I like browns. I like kind of more muddy, browny, grungy eye looks, it turns out, as opposed to like pinky, rosy looks. I don't really love that on me. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna use that one a ton, but there we go. I have, this is a little Canadian brand. But like, look how cute this is. Look how little it is. That's why I bought it. It's so cute. And these shadows are really nice, actually. Wake Up Eyeshadow. Yeah, it's a really cute little quad. So keeping that one. This one from e.l.f. I want to say was like a gift with purchase. And again, just your everyday basic eyeshadow palette. And it tells you where to put them. So yeah, keeping that one. Like I said, I'm keeping all of these. There's nothing I'm going to get rid of. But this is pretty. This is from Tarte rainforest of the sea yeah very very nice and then <laughs> this one i keep you know really for no reason like uh, never am i going to use these having said that though my son just recently did my makeup <laughs> i'll link that video in case you missed it but yeah he used that purple shade on me once it was it was an interesting look <laughs> and then this one is from Beauty Bakery, super cute, right? So yeah, I'm gonna keep all of those. So to recap, those are the things we're keeping there. I'm keeping all the palettes, but I am throwing out that. I've got a couple products I'm passing on. Those are the brow products and liners that I'm keeping. Those stay out on my desktop. And then those are in my current Shop My Stash. So yeah, not a ton that I got rid of, um, but pretty good. You know, if you've watched some of my declutters, you guys will know I struggle to declutter makeup. I'm not great at it. So there we go, you guys. All done the decluttering for this, probably this year. I'll probably do this series again next year, but I love doing these declutters. It really helps me, you know, just take a look at everything in my collection and get my thoughts on everything and get rid of some stuff. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the series. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, if you would subscribe, that would be amazing. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone.